everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, not necessarily quick, I was going to say a quick video for you guys, but maybe not. Well, today I'm going to be doing 10 last minute DIY bookish costumes. I personally always enjoy watching these videos and it's really interesting to see uh, a person's take on a bookish character when you're very limited to what you have. So these 10 characters are the type of characters I was able to create from what I currently have in my closet. I hope uh, this inspires you or helps you out if you're trying to figure out a last minute costume. All right, so for my first outfit, I'm actually wearing this really cute sunflower dress and a pair of pig ears. If you can't tell, which is kind of hard, I know, I'm supposed to be Olivia the pig. She actually wears a plain red dress with like black and white stockings, but I didn't have either of that in my closet. Now, uh, I think what's super important is just staying true to the color scheme, not necessarily the exact outfit. Like I'm sure, obviously it works better with the actual outfit if you have it, but if not, close counts I think. Now I totally could have worn a red shirt and black pants and I feel like I totally could have gotten away with that but because she wears a red dress I feel like a dress was more important to this character. And for shoes I just threw on some simple black flats. Like a cute simple outfit and I think it's something the the kids will totally get. Now this next costume here is really easy. You just need a backpack, black pants, white shirt, and some black shoes and then you're the wimpy kid from diary of a wimpy kid i know he wears shorts and a t-shirt but this is new england in october it gets really cold like i said these are kids characters and as long as the kids get it that's all that matters and kids are usually pretty forgiving it's the adults that kind of give you a hard time now for the next couple outfits you're going to see that i'm kind of reusing the white shirt and the black pants uh, for this one i just threw on like a furry type of jacket over the white shirt and the black pants and threw on a red lip and i am corella deville uh, for my shoes I, I did switch out my shoes i threw on a pair of knee-high boots I'm sure the outfit would definitely work better if I had like a dog in one arm or like a giant tote bag and some fancy sunglasses, but I think this works. I think this actually gets the point across. This next costume I think is quite the throwback. Again, keeping on the white shirt and the black pants, I'm throwing a blazer over this outfit and throwing on like um, a newsboy cap. I did switch out my shoes for some for some like ankle booties. I wanted it more of a masculine look. If you hold on to a bunch of hats while wearing this outfit, you are the dude that from the kids book uh, Caps for, for Sale. I don't have the name offhand. I don't even think he has a name. We're just going to call him the dude. And uh, I think this is a classic uh, book that people are definitely going to get and during the evening if people don't get who you are just try to sell them a hat and maybe that will like give them a hint now this would not be a bookish character costume thing if i did not throw a hogwarts student in the mix it's super easy just a white button up some black slacks and a black sweater with a striped tie in the colors of your house and if you don't have a tie you can totally use a scarf like any uber fan, I already have a wand in my possession, but you can always use a stick or just go without a wand. Now, if you don't have any of the official merchandise, like you don't have anything that really screams, hey, this is a Hogwarts item, just put on any striped tie or any striped scarf and say that you're from uh, one of the other wizarding schools. You can even throw in like, hey, you're, you're from pig farts and it will definitely get some real Harry Potter fans squealing if you say if you're actually a student from Pig Farts. All right, so this one was a lot of fun. I actually thought I had something else for this costume, but I didn't, but we made it work because after all, this is what we currently have in our closet. This is Willy Wonka from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory by uh, Roald Dahl. I threw on some green pants, kept the white button-up shirt, and uh, I put on my one of my favorite blazers, this cool velvet purplish 
blazer. I borrowed a cane from my husband, and I feel like any old fancy hat will work. Extra points if you actually do have a tan top hat, but I think any fancy hat kind of works. What you can do, you can actually go without the hat and just go as the meme, which I think I think that will work too. Now this next one was a little hard. I thought, again, I thought I had something which I actually didn't. If you wear all green, like head to toe in green, with black shoes and something of like of red along like the I guess the hairline or headline or whatever you want to call that, whether whether it be this like a red scarf like I'm trying to do here or a red beanie or even like some red uh, like eye makeup and a red lip, you can totally go as the hungry caterpillar. Now I had pig ears and I figured I would be remiss if I didn't try to put in at least at least one more pig costume in this. I decided to go as the more uh, classic the more classic version of piglet. So pink pants, some pink shoes, and a blue top. Uh, if you want to go absolutely like classic all the way, just throw on a red scarf too. And if you don't have a blue shirt or if you would rather go the more modern route, you can put on a pink shirt. And the best thing about these ears actually, there's a small piglet decal. So if people, if they don't get your costume right away, they will soon. This next costume is actually really easy. It's super easy. It, it's borderline lazy, I think, but it's super comfy. You can wear whatever you want and then just throw a really fluffy, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bathrobe. Yeah, that's the word. Bathrobe. You can throw on a bathrobe over whatever you're wearing and throw a tea towel over your shoulder and you are Arthur Dent from A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And if you want, if you want to go extra comfy, you can wear uh, pajama pants and some slippers. Now this last costume. This costume is a bit of a stretch. I'll admit to that. For this costume, I am trying to go as the rainbow fish. It was one of my favorite books as a kid. Uh, the rainbow fish is mostly blue and pink with some shiny elements throughout and that's what I tried to do here with a blue shirt and then a very colorful skirt and just throw in some like elements of metallic like the headband I'm currently wearing and the shoes that I threw on. And if you don't think that people are really going to get it uh, for a lip, you can just like put on some lipstick and like paint your lips in a way where it looks like like fish lips. Uh, the rainbow fish actually has yellow lips. I don't have yellow lipstick, so I just went with a blue lipstick here. And, and again, I feel like it works. So that is, I'm gonna take off this blue lipstick now. So that is everything I have to show you today. Uh, I know the rainbow fish was a bit of a stretch, but this was fun trying to figure out how to create different costumes from like from the limited resources that I have because honestly if I was to go to a Halloween party I wouldn't have anything or at least I wouldn't have time to go buy anything so it's really cool knowing that if you just get creative you have so many options in your closet so what are you dressing up as Halloween please feel free to talk about that down in the comments below did you go buy your costume did you create it from the stuff that you have at home already. Also feel free to list some easy to do costumes down below. I'm sure there are plenty of other costumes I could have created with the same, same few pieces. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess it's ta-ta for now. Bye guys.